continues forever, Adonai, my Lord. Firmly fixed in heaven, just as you have fixed the order of day and night, just as you have fixed the order of the stars and the sun and the moon as they encompass the earth and the firmament that you have made. Your word continues forever. Your faithfulness continues through every generation. Lord, you establish the earth and it stands. You formed the earth to be immovable and today it stands fixed. In keeping with your rulings, in keeping with your laws, in keeping with your eternal commands that order the heavens and the earth. For all things are your servants. Adonai, my Lord, if your Torah, if your law had not been my delight, I would have perished in my distress. Your word has always bring, is always bringing life. Your word is always bringing hope. Your word is always a light in the darkness that surrounds me. I would have perished in my distress. So Lord, I will never forget your precepts, for with them you have made me alive. I am yours, save me. Save me because I am yours. Save me because I seek your precepts. Save me because I know that you are the way that you are the truth, that you are the life. The wicked hope to destroy me, but I focus on your instruction. My eyes remain fixed upon your ways. I love your ways. I see the limits of all perfection. But your mitzvah, the fulfillment of your word, has no bounds. I see the limits of everything beautiful. But your word, the fulfillment of your word, has no bounds. Eternal, unlimited. Because you are the word made flesh. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. In Him was life, and the life was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not, cannot overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to bear witness about the light that all might believe through him. He was not the light. John the Baptist was not the light, but he came to bear witness about the light. The true light, which gives light to everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made through him. Yet the world did not know him. He came to his own. He came to his own people, the people of Judah, and they did not receive him. But to all who did receive him, who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God, who were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but were born of God. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we have seen his glory. Glory is of the only Son from the Father, full of grace and truth. John bore witness about him and cried out, This was he of whom I said, He who comes after me ranks before me, because he was before me. From his fullness we have all received grace upon grace, mercy upon mercy, mercy unlimited, for the law was given through Moses. Yet both grace and truth, grace and the law, came through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God, the only God, Jesus, who is at the Father's side, has made him known. In the beginning was the Word, 
And the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we have seen His glory. The glory of Jesus Christ, our Lord, our Savior, our God, incarnate, in flesh.
lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Jesus spoke to them, saying, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Jesus said to the Jews who had believed him, If you abide in my word, you are truly my disciples, and you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. I have sworn an oath in my heart and confirmed it to keep your righteous rules, to walk in your light. I am severely afflicted in my heart, in my soul, in my body from my pilgrimage in this world, Lord. But I know that you are the light of the world. I know that you speak the truth. I know that you are the light of life. Jesus said, For judgment I came into this world, that those who do not see may see, and that those who think they see may become blind. Lord, I confess my blindness. I confess my deafness, that I cannot see, I cannot hear, unless you open my eyes unless you open my ears. I am totally dependent upon you. I am severely afflicted, Lord. Give me life according to your word. Accept my free will offerings of praise, O Lord, and teach me your rules. I hold my life in my hand continually. but I know that you hold me in your hand. I do not forget your law. The wicked have laid a snare for me, but I do not stray from your precepts. Your testimonies are my heritage forever. They are the joy of my heart. I incline my heart to walk in your ways, to perform your statutes forever to the end. Jesus answered those that persecuted him, If I glorify myself, my glory is nothing. It is my Father who glorifies me, of whom you say he is our God. But you have not known him. I know him. If I were to say that I do not know him, I would be a liar like you. But I do know him, and I keep his word. Your father Abraham rejoiced that he would see my day. He saw it and was glad. And those who heard him, the Jews said to him, You are not yet fifty years old, and have you seen Abraham? Jesus said to them, Truly, truly, I say to you, before Abraham was, 
I am. Lord, you have the words of eternal life. Open our ears that we may hear. Open our eyes that we may see your truth. Fill us with your Holy Spirit that we may walk in your ways. Count it all joy, my brothers. When you meet trials of various kinds, for you know that the testing of your faith produces steadfastness. And let steadfastness have its full effect, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask God, who gives generously to all without reproach, and it will be given to him. But let him ask in faith, with no doubting. For the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea that is driven and tossed by the wind. For that person must not suppose that he will receive anything from the Lord. He is a double-minded man, unstable in all his ways. What causes quarrels? And what causes fights among you? Is it not this, that your passions are at war within you? You desire and you do not have, so you murder, you covet, and you cannot obtain, so you fight and you quarrel. You do not have because you do not ask. You ask and do not receive because you ask wrongly in order to spend it on your passions. You adulterous people, do you not know that friendship with the world is enmity with God? Therefore, whoever wishes to be a friend of the world makes himself an enemy of God. Or do you suppose it is to no purpose that the scripture says, he yearns jealously over the spirit that he has made to dwell in us, but he gives more grace. Therefore, it says, God opposes the proud but gives grace to the humble. Submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Draw near to God, and he will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. Be wretched, and mourn, and weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourning, and your joy to gloom. Humble yourselves before the Lord, and he will exalt you. Do not speak evil against one another, brothers. The one who speaks against a brother or judges his brother speaks evil against the law and judges the law. But if you judge the law, you are not a doer of the law, but a judge. There is only one lawgiver and judge, he who is able to save and to destroy. But who are you to judge your neighbor? Lord, I hate the double-minded, but I love your law. You are my hiding place and my shield. I hope in your word. Depart from me, you evildoers, that I may keep the commandments of my God. Uphold me according to your promise that I may live, and let me not be put to shame in my hope. Hold me up, 
that I may be safe and have regard for your statutes continually. You spurn all who go astray from your statutes, for their cunning is in vain. All the wicked of the earth you discard like dross. Therefore, I love your testimonies. My flesh trembles for fear of you, and I am afraid of your judgments. done what is just and right. Do not leave me to my oppressors. Give your servant a pledge of good. Let not the insolent oppress me. My eyes long for your salvation, O oh God. My eyes long for the fulfillment of your righteous promise. My eyes grow dim with looking day by day, night by night, for your coming, for your salvation, for your glorious kingdom to arise in the earth. My eyes have walked in wilderness for 40 years. My eyes long for your salvation and for the fulfillment of your righteous promise. Lord, deal with your servant according to your steadfast love, according to your mercy, according to your everlasting love. The love with which you created me Deal with me, your servant, according to your mercy, according to your everlasting love. And teach me your ways, your statutes, your commandments. I am your servant. Give me understanding. Make my mind to know your testimonies. Give me understanding of those who have spoken your words, who have testified of your way, your grace with them. I am your servant. Give me understanding that I may know your testimonies. Lord, it is time for you to act. It's now been 2,000 years since you were here. You have left us alone. And it's time, oh God, for you to act, for your law has been broken. The nations have set aside truth. The nations have set aside righteousness. The nations walk in lawlessness. And those who rule, rule over us harshly and laws of wickedness. Therefore, I love your commandments. 
I love your commandments above gold. I love your commandments above fine gold. I love your ways above rubies and diamonds and every material thing. Therefore I consider all your precepts to be right. Therefore, I hate every false way. of your servant make your face shine upon us oh God be gracious to us and bless us and make your face shine upon us that your way may be known on earth your saving power among all nations let the peoples praise you O God let all the peoples praise you let the nations be glad and sing for joy for you judge the peoples with equity you have had mercy upon us Lord we deserve judgment and you brought mercy and we thank you O oh God evil had had its way with us for many many years and was about to consume the land but you now have had mercy upon us and we thank you for your mercy for mercy triumphs over judgment let the nations be glad and sing for joy for you judge the peoples with equity and guide the nations upon earth let the peoples praise you O God let all the peoples praise you the earth has yielded its increase God our God shall bless us God shall bless us let all the ends of the earth fear him and bless his holy name 
Your testimonies are wonderful. Therefore, my soul keeps them. The unfolding of your words gives light. It imparts understanding to the simple. I open my mouth and I pant because I long for your commandments. Turn to me and be gracious to me, as is your way with those who love your name. Keep steady my steps according to your promise and let no iniquity get dominion over me. Redeem me from man's oppression. Oh God, you have redeemed us. You have had mercy upon us. Now may the oppression of men end. And now may the kingdom of God come to earth as it is in heaven. And may we keep your precepts, O oh God. Make your face shine upon your servants and teach us your statutes. My eyes have shed streams of tears because people have not kept your law, O oh God. But now, now, Turn to us. Enable us to turn to you. The Lord spoke and said, The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Righteousness and justice are the foundation of your throne. That mercy and truth go before you. Clouds and thick darkness surround you. Righteousness and justice are the foundation of your throne. In your might you love justice. You have established equity and truth. You have executed justice and righteousness. The Lord works righteousness and justice for all. Blessed are they who observe justice, who do righteousness at all times. Righteous are you, O Lord, and 
right are your rules. You have appointed your testimonies, the testimonies of your history and righteousness and in all truth. My zeal consumes me because my foes forget your words. Your promise is well tried and your servant loves your promises. Your servant loves your word. Your servant loves your righteousness. Your servant loves your truth. Your servant loves your justice. But I'm small and despised. And even so, I do not forget your precepts. Your righteousness is righteous forever. Your law is truth. Your law is true forever. Trouble and anguish have found me out, but your commandments are my delight. Your testimonies are righteous forever. Give me understanding that I may live. Give me understanding that I may understand your perfection. Give me understanding that I may desire to be perfect even as you are perfect. That I may desire to be just even as you are just. That I may desire to be righteous even as you are righteous.
with my whole heart I cry. Answer me, O Lord. I will keep your statutes. I call to you. Save me. Save me that I may observe your testimonies. That I may think upon your history, all that you've done in the history of men. I rise before dawn and I cry for help. I hope in your words. My eyes are awake before the watches of the night that I may meditate on your promise. Hear my voice according to your steadfast love. According to your mercy, O Lord, according to your justice, give me life. For your mercy and your justice rule over all things. They draw near who persecute me with evil purpose. They are far from your law. But you are near, O Lord, and all your commandments are truth. The sum of your word is truth, O Lord. All your commandments are truth. Long have I known from your testimonies that you have founded them forever. You have founded your law and your testimony forever, O Lord. For the Lord spoke thus to me with his strong hand upon me and warned me not to walk in the way of this people, saying, Do not call conspiracy all that this people calls conspiracy. And do not fear what they fear, nor be in dread. But the Lord of hosts, him you shall honor as holy. Let him be your fear, let him be your dread. And he will become a sanctuary and a stone of offense, and a rock of stumbling to both houses of Israel, a trap and a snare to the inhabitants of Jerusalem. And many shall stumble on it. They shall fall and be broken. They shall be snared and taken. Bind up the testimony. Seal the law among my disciples. I will wait for the Lord who is hiding his face from the house of Jacob, from the house of his people, and I will hope in him. Behold, I and the children whom the Lord has given me are signs and portents in Israel from the Lord of hosts who dwells on Mount Zion. And when they say to you, inquire of the mediums and the necromancers who chirp and mutter, should not a people inquire of their God? Should they inquire of the dead on behalf of the living? To the law and to the testimony, if they will not speak according to this word, it is because they have no dawn. They will pass through the land greatly distressed and hungry. And when they are hungry, they will be enraged and will speak contemptuously against their king and against their God and turn their faces upward. And they will look to the earth, but behold, darkness and distress, the gloom of anguish. And because they did not seek the Lord, they will be thrust into thick darkness. To the law and to the testimony that we may live in the light of your presence, O God. I choose the law and your testimony, O God. I choose the two witnesses that you have sent into the earth, the law and your testimony, for by them I know mercy and I know truth.
Look on my affliction and deliver me. For I do not forget your law. Plead my cause and redeem me. Give me life. Quicken me according to your promise. Yeshua, salvation is far from the wicked. For the wicked do not seek your statutes. The wicked do not seek your ways. The wicked do not care for your commands. Great is your mercy, O Lord. Give me life. Quicken me according to your rules. Many are my persecutors. Many are my adversaries. But I do not swerve from your testimonies. I look at the faithless with disgust because they do not keep your commandments. Indeed, they hate you. Consider how I love your precepts. Give me life. Quicken me. Quicken me according to your steadfast love, according to your mercy. The sum of your word is truth. From the beginning, your word is true. The sum of your word is truth, and every one of your righteous rules endures forever. Unto eternity. Search me and know me. You know when I sit down and when I rise up. You discern my thoughts from afar. You search out my path and my lying down. You know all my ways. Even before a word is on my tongue, behold, O Lord, you know it. You hem me in behind and before, and you lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. Such knowledge is too high. I cannot attain it. Where shall I go from your spirit? Or where shall I flee from your presence? If I ascend to heaven, you are there. If I make my bed in Sheol, if I make my bed in hell, you are there. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me, and your right hand shall hold me, if I say, Surely the darkness shall cover me, and the light about me be night. Even the darkness is not dark to you. The night is bright as the day, for darkness is as light to you. For you formed my inward parts, you knitted me together in my mother's womb. I praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works. My soul knows it very well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was being made in secret, intricately woven in the depths of the earth. Your eyes saw my unformed substance. In your book were written, every one of them, the days that were formed, that were ordained for me, when as yet there were none of them. How precious to me are your thoughts, O oh God. How vast is the sum of them. If I would count them, they are more than the sand. I awake, and I am always with you. Oh, that you would slay the wicked, O oh God. O oh, men of blood, depart from me. They speak against you, God. Malice. Your enemies take your name in vain. Do I not hate those who hate you, O oh Lord? And do I not loathe those who rise up against you? I hate them with complete hatred. I count them my enemies. Search me, O oh God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts. And see if there be any grievous way in me. And lead me in the way everlasting. Lead me in your way. Lead me in your eternal way. For you are the eternal God. You are the King of glory. You are the way one and only way. You are the light and the truth. No one comes to the Father unless he comes through you. Yeshua, my God, my King. Praise and glory be to your name and your name alone. For 
where you are, God. persecute me without cause 
but my heart stands in awe of your words. I rejoice at your word, like one who finds great treasure. I hate and abhor lies and those who speak falsely, but I love your law. Seven times a day I praise you for your righteous rules. Great peace of those who love your law. Nothing can make them stumble. I hope for your salvation. I hope for Yeshua, O oh Lord. And I do your commandments. My soul keeps your testimonies. I love them exceedingly. I keep your precepts and your testimonies. I keep your rules and I remember your testimonies. I keep your commandments and I remember your words, the testimony of your history in the world. For all my ways are before you. thus to me, with a strong hand upon me, and warned me not to walk in the way of this people, saying, Do not call conspiracy all of this people calls conspiracy, and do not fear what they fear, nor be in dread. But the Lord of hosts, Yahuwah, him you shall regard as holy. Let him be your fear, and let him be your dread, and he will become a sanctuary, and a stone of offense, and a rock of stumbling to both houses of Israel a trap and a snare to the inhabitants of Jerusalem. And many shall stumble on it. They shall fall and be broken. They shall be snared and taken. Bind up the testimony and seal the law among my disciples. I will wait for the Lord who is hiding his face from the house of Jacob, who is hiding his face from the people of the world. And I will hope in him. Behold, I and the children whom the Lord has given me are signs and portents in Israel from the Lord of hosts who dwells on Mount Zion. And when they say to you, inquire of the mediums and the necromancers who chirp and mutter, inquire of the witches who wish to rule this world, should not a people inquire of their God? Should they inquire of the dead on behalf of the living? To the law and to the testimony, if they will not speak according to this word, it is because they have no light.
Give me understanding according to your word. Let my supplication come before your face. Deliver me according to your word. My lips shall utter praise when you have taught me your statutes. My tongue shall speak of your word for all your commandments are righteousness. You are Yahuwah, my God. You have brought me out of the house of slavery, out of bondage to sin. I shall have no other gods but you. I shall not make for myself a carved idol. I shall not make for myself any image to worship, for you are my God. You are Yahuwah. I shall not take your name in vain. I shall not say, this is the work of the Lord, unless you clearly show me. I shall observe your Sabbath day by entering into your rest. I shall cease from my own labors and depend upon you for all things. I shall honor my mother and my father. I shall not murder. I shall not commit adultery. I shall not steal. I shall not bear false witness. I shall not lie. I shall not covet or lust for my neighbor's wife, my neighbor's house, my neighbor's field, or anything that my neighbor owns. Let your hand help me to observe your precepts and your commands, O Lord, for I have chosen them. I have longed for Yeshua, O Yahuwah, I have longed for salvation in Yeshua. I have longed for your Torah to be the rule of my life and my delight. So let my soul live, bring life in Yeshua, O Yahuwah. My soul shall praise you. Let your judgments and your counsel help me. For all my life I've gone astray like a lost sheep. I've gone my own way. I have lived in this tent of flesh. And I pray, O oh God, to put on immortality on life, life everlasting, for I do not forget. <laughs> 